name's Sarah Siegel. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. My wife, Pat, and I just retired here after working in IBM for 30 years. We ended up moving to Memphis so that we could afford to do uh, the philanthropy we wanted to do, and I wanted to write. People talk about having a parent who went to Stanford or Harvard or Princeton and, and you know, how they're a legacy. Mine is with Hebrew University. My mom actually got to study their postgraduate studies in 1950. So she said to me, you know, Sarah, you really ought to do this. It's a big opportunity. And so come age 20, I'm a junior at uh, University of Michigan, and I decide, yep, I'm going to do this. People don't like to listen to their parents, but I was really glad I did in that case. I loved going to Hebrew University for the year abroad, the one-year program. It really was the most vivid year of my life. I studied Sifrut Hashvatit, uh, comparative literature, and not only did I meet super cool people from Harvard, from Princeton, from Yale, from Duke, Columbia, I mean, everywhere. We did things that were like birthright on steroids. Uh, they took us uh, a sea to sea hike in three days, and you know, I got to uh, work on a kibbutz. So it was really special from a bonding with Israel standpoint, but the people I met were very special people that I'm still friends with uh, to this day. Hebrew University definitely changed my life, both as a Jew, as a lesbian, and as an American student at the University of Michigan. I want the public to know about Hebrew University that it is beyond world class. It's a super modern institution in one of the world's most ancient cities. One second you're in archeological ruins and the next you're learning about digital humanities. Supporting Hebrew University is like paying life insurance because it's not only about keeping Israel alive, it's about keeping the whole world alive. It's about keeping the bees alive, keeping the coral alive, keeping Jewish art alive. There's amazing bee research being done at Hebrew University and there's an inter-university marine institute in a lot that Hebrew University is the hub for. We want that research to continue too. And then there's the whole world of Jewish art. There's the Center for Jewish Art at Hebrew University. We want that to continue too. The beauty is people can pick the area. Chances are, if you're interested in something, Hebrew University is researching it. By coming to Memphis and making it possible for the two of us to be more philanthropic, Pat and I were actually able to endow a scholarship in perpetuity for LGBTQ youth, uh, for the students of Hebrew University. From anywhere, of any background, who is willing to be openly lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender, or queer, because maybe I could have been fine being open back then, but I did not feel comfortable. And what we want to do is we want to show that you can be yourself at uh, Hebrew. In fact, we're going to reward you for being open. We feel really good about being able to do that. My wife Pat and I choose to support Hebrew University because I can't imagine a more important organization to be giving our uh, philanthropy to at this stage. For me, Hebrew University is joy.